Joining us now, Secretary and CEO of the Phi Beta Kappa Society and distinguished lecturer at Georgetown Law School, Frederick Lawrence. He's the former president of Brandeis University and author of the book, Punishing Hate, Bias Crimes Against Under American Law. Thank you so much uh, for being here today. And let's start Good to be with you. Let's start right there, that we just ran through a really impressive list of, of important uh, matters uh, that will be before the Supreme Court this year. Tell us a little bit about what to watch out for, what to expect uh, as the new term begins. Clearly, the abortion case is going to be the headline case of this term. And it could well be that this is the time, almost 50 years after Roe against Wade, that Roe against Wade is finally overturned. This has been a concerted effort among conservative and pro-life advocates, justices, and they may have the votes now. Mississippi, when it originally asked this case to be heard, did not ask for Roe against Wade to be overturned. And then in subsequent pleadings, did ask for Roe against Wade to be overturned. So that's going to be on the table. It's hard to remember now, but Roe against Wade, of course, 1973, almost 50 years ago, 20 years later, when there were eight of the nine justices appointed by Republicans, the court upheld the right to abortion again in Planned Parenthood against Casey. But that was a famous opinion by Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. The question is now whether it will stand up, and there's good reason to believe that Roe against Wade is actually going to be overturned. So that will be the big case everybody will be watching. The guns rights case is out of New York City. The Supreme Court has upheld an individual right under the Second Amendment to bear arms. The question is, does that apply outside? And the city of New York, for good reasons, is interested in having sensible, reasonable gun control, which could be consistent with the Second Amendment, according to those very Supreme Court opinions that recognize the right to bear arms under the Second right. Amendment. We'll see how the court develops. And then the last case, that religion case, is out of Maine, where Maine has a rule prohibiting public support for religious schools. Let's see if that stands up, too. So every so often we get a surprise from a Supreme Court justice, uh, Chief Justice John Roberts in particular, a few times now. Uh, to some, it was surprising that he voted uh, to preserve the Affordable Care Act. Uh, let's talk, though, if you could give us a sense as to, as these cases come up on the docket, which justices are most likely to potentially break ranks from where we think they'd be ideologically, uh, and in what matters? Probably the Chief Justice, John Roberts, as you said, and possibly Justice uh, Brett Kavanaugh, who has already shown himself to be uh, a little bit more of a pragmatist than an ideological conservative. So I would say those are the two to watch. Justice uh, Amy Coney Barrett has been uh, interesting in her early time on the court, probably not going to break ranks on a Roe against Wade a reconsideration case. And then as for the three arch conservatives on the court, Justices Thomas Alito and Gorsuch, hard to imagine them breaking ranks. So I would be watching the Chief Justice and Justice Kavanaugh. And of course, hanging over all of this will be speculation about the future of Justice Breyer, uh, with many liberals hoping that he will step down so President Biden can appoint a replacement while Democrats still have control of the Senate. Frederick Lawrence, thank you so much for being on today. Uh, please come back soon.